In this series, we're going to talk about importing a file from another CAD system. So I'm going to go to File and select Open. Now you can also just pick the File Open icon from up on your toolbar. I want you to go to the location of the sample files for this lathe training. And I want you to go down here to your file type and go all the way to the bottom and select all files. And you'll see that there's a bunch of different files in here. There's DWG, DXF, XT. So there's a, a variety of things that we can choose from. Now, when you're opening a CAD file in MasterCAM, you basically just do a file open like you normally would and then come over here to your file types and select the type of file you're looking for. So if I was specifically looking for an AutoCAD file, I could have just selected AutoCAD files, and it would show me the DWGs and the DXFs. If I was looking for a Parasolid file, it would show me just those Parasolid files. MasterCAM will also read files from SolidWorks. It'll read assembly files, drawing files, files from Solid Edge, Autodesk Inventor, as well as a wide variety of other systems. There are a few that are optional, but most of these CAD converters come standard with MasterCAM. So let's go back to selecting AutoCAD files. And for this example, we're going to pick Turning 2X Nose, and I'm going to pick the DWG file. It doesn't matter if you pick the DXF or the DWG file. They're both the same drawing. So I'm going to pick the DWG and say Open. Now I'm going to right click my mouse and do a fit and I'm going to roll my wheel out a little bit here. So there's my drawing. It's the same drawing we did before. There's our detail for the relief that we did. But this has been imported as drawn from another CAD system. Now if I hit function key F9 you're going to see that zero is not at the front center of the nose. Zero is down here in the lower left corner. So one of the things we want to do is to move this drawing so the center nose is at zero, zero. And that's actually pretty easy to do. So to start that off, we're going to go to Transform. We're going to select Move to Origin. And basically, it wants to know which point do you want to be on the origin. Now with this command, you're not picking geometry. It assumes everything that's on the screen is going to be moved. So I want to move this nose piece to the origin. I'll make sure you're grabbing the front and center of that nose. And I'll right click and do a fit. And you'll see now the nose is directly on zero. And again, you'll see the color change. We can see the result of the transformation. And I can clear that color by clicking on the clear colors icon up on top and I'll hit function key F9 to turn off the crosshairs. So there we have our part, we have a bunch of dimensions, we have a border around the drawing, we have a title box down here that has all kinds of wonderful information. But as far as machining this, I don't really need all that stuff. All I really need is a side profile of the part. Now I could delete these things, but I might want to use these later. I might want to have them on the drawing maybe when I do my setup sheet. They may come in handy. So rather than delete them, we could just move them to a different location so they'll be out of our way. And that's what we're going to look at next.